get ready to get swiping. And no, we're not talking about dating apps. We're talking about stealing. We're going to learn all about the criminal career in The Sims 4, including both the boss and the oracle branches, as well as the unique interactions and perks that the career brings, like pickpocketing other Sims. Now you can enter the career by using the careers panel or the business section of your phone to find a job. And the first thing that you'll want to know is that the main skills required to progress in this career is the mischief skill, with a secondary skill of either the handiness or the programming skill depending on which branch you specialize in. The ideal mood for training the mischief skill is being playful, and the ideal mood for training both the handiness and the programming skill is being focused. Being in the ideal mood while training a skill will save you around 25% of the usual training time, and if you have them in a strong, very state, such as being very playful or very focused, then this will increase to save around 35% of the usual time. Love that for us. However, be careful with becoming too playful. You don't want your sim to reach the hysterical stage, as here there is a chance that your sim will literally die. Not what we want. Also know that specific lot traits can also help to train up these skills faster too. Convivial will impact on the mischief skill, homie the handiness skill, and fast internet will affect the programming skill, with these traits allowing you to save around 25% of the usual time it takes to train relevant skills. Now you will start out in the career as a tough guy or gal, and the daily task until you specialize at rank 6 is to perform mischief interactions, and this will help you train up your mischief skill. Note that at level 2 mischief you can use the socialize section of a computer to troll tech forums, and this is a good way to complete the daily task without needing a second person. Completing the daily task before each workday will boost your performance, as will having good relationships with co-workers workers, going to work with positive emotions, and changing the way your sim works to be work hard. This can be done by clicking on the two people on the top right of your sim's head icon while they are away at work. Working hard will increase work performance, but reduce their fun need and potentially make your sim stressed. Your sim can also take it easy, lowering performance but increasing fun and potentially making your sim happy. They can also suck up to their bosses, which lowers performance but increases your charisma skill, and also make connections. This lowers your work performance but fills up the social need and potentially lets your sim meet co-workers and make friends. Now at level 2 in the career you'll unlock an espionage set object, then at level 3 you'll unlock a duffel of cash object, but much more interestingly is that you'll also unlock the pickpocket interaction. This is located within the deception section of mischief interactions, and if successful it'll see you earn a couple of simoleons and grant your sim an 8 hour confident moodlet. Annoyingly you can't pickpocket again until this moodlet clears. On the other hand, if your pickpocket attempt fails, then you'll be able to try and pickpocket sims again right away. At level 4 in the career, you'll get a baseball bat sculpture. And this, along with the duffel of cash and the espionage set, can all provide a playful emotional aura. I would call a criminal with a baseball bat horrifying, but it's The Sims, so, you know, it's playful. At level 5 in the career, you'll unlock two new creator sim hats, which are kind of fun but nothing crazy. And then at rank 6 in the career is when you'll specialize, needing to choose between either the boss or the oracle branch. And note that you'll need level 6 of the mischief skill to reach this rank. Let's take a look at the boss branch first. And when you first enter this branch at level 6 as the muscle, you'll gain the ability to threaten other sims. Located within the malicious section of mean interactions, this will give a confident plus 2 moolet for 4 hours if successful. In this branch at work, your daily task will also change to be performing mean interactions, and you'll gain a new way to work being to intimidate lackeys. This lowers work performance but can give you a confident moodlet. At level 6 you'll also gain a broken ATM object. At level 7 a bars of gold object and at level 8 a stolen necklace object. And all of these can have a playful aura enabled. It's at level 8 of the career that your daily task will also change to be upgrading objects and you can use a computer to purchase upgrade parts to do this. Then at level 9 in the career you'll unlock the ability to use a computer to search for bank blueprints. 
This trains up your mischief skill and gives your sim an inspired moodlet that lasts for two full days. Finally, when you reach the top of the career, you'll unlock a rather dangerous looking punching bag, which does have a playful emotional aura. Don't ask me how. A little bit weird, but sure. You'll also unlock an interesting new outfit that is kind of giving crime boss and kind of giving formal wear. Your daily work task also once again becomes performing mean interactions. You'll need level 10 mischief and level 6 handiness to reach the top of this branch as a boss and here your sims will work Sunday, Monday and Tuesday and take home 3,115 simoleons per workday. Now let's look at the oracle branch and when you first enter into this at level 6 as a DGP, you'll gain a spy satellite object and your daily work task will change to be hacking or making viruses which can be actioned from the programming section of a computer. You'll also gain a new way to work being to work on your side projects. This lowers work performance performance but will increase both your logic and your programming skills. Then at level 7 you'll gain a poster that can provide a focused emotional aura. But much more interestingly, you'll gain the ability to hack the mainframe on a computer. If successful, an uplink to the mainframe will be established. The effect of this is that your sim will get an 8 hour focused moodlet and while this moodlet or the uplink is active, your sim will get extra money from using their computer to hack. At level 8 in the career you'll unlock a rug and then when you reach the top of the career you'll unlock the Mayhem portable computer. Despite its design looking like it popped out of a suitcase, it's actually not portable but it can have a playful emotional aura enabled. Your sims will also unlock a very interesting new outfit that kind of looks like a leather dress with long sleeves. It's rather unique and I actually love the design that it has. You'll need level 10 mischief and level 8 programming to reach the top of this branch as the oracle. And here your sims will work Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and Friday and take home 2,212 simoleons per workday. Now just before finishing up, a few quick tips. Firstly, consider your playstyle before entering this career, as for the most part, your sim will be working in the middle of the night. Moving on, and I'd highly suggest giving your criminal sims the kleptomaniac trait. This is an incredibly fun trait to use, and it will allow your sims to swipe various objects when they're out and about, provided that no one sees them in the act of course. Literally stealing objects ties in so well with being a criminal and it's also just a lot of fun. Next, when it comes to aspirations, consider public enemy. It's all about being mean and mischievous and partaking in the criminal career is needed to advance in this aspiration too. It'll help guide you down the path of chaos and completing it will provide your sim with the mastermind reward trait. This unlocks new mischief interactions that your sims can use. Firstly, you'll be able to cast Seeds of Doubt, which gives the target sim a tense moolet for 4 hours. You can also subtly debase a sim, giving them a sad plus 50 moolet for 4 hours. And finally, you can tell a sim a vicious rumor, which gives them an angry plus 2 moolet for 4 hours. As these are all mean spirited interactions, it'll likely work rather well with your criminal sim. Finally, if you have the points, then consider picking up the connections reward trait. This costs 3000 satisfaction points and it will allow you to enter straight into level 4 of the criminal career. Also, you might want the entrepreneurial trait, which costs 2,000 satisfaction points and will provide you with a passive performance boost. And with that, we're at the end. That's a complete guide to the criminal career in The Sims 4. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed or found this helpful, then feel free to check out some of my other career guides if that interests you. And of course, I hope you have an amazing day. See you later.